In this video, we're going old school with soap. This is Razor Rock Triple X in the UFO tub. And we'll go modern with the Razor. This is the Razor Rock Lupo Stainless Steel DLC. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And today, I'm just going to enjoy myself with an old school soap. This is Razor Rock Triple X. It's called the UFO tub, as you can see there, because of its sort of shape. And this is old. This is eight to 10 years old. Um, we'll go ahead and give you a look at it. Still looking great. Again, this, this poke has, has never been lathered on. Still has its smell. It's about medium incent. And Razor Rock Triple X, in the event you don't know, has that um, Aqua de Parma Colonia type of scent. This probably was the first artisanal version, or at least the first artisanal version that I knew of. Again, um, eight to 10 years old, still holding up great. And so I'm really looking forward to using it today. We're also going to be using the Razor Rock Lupo Stainless Steel DLC Razor, which I really, really love using. It is absolutely one of my favorite razors of 2020 for sure. It's modeled after the Wolfman, but it doesn't have a cost like the Wolfman. This one ran me, I think, $89.99 when it came out about a year ago or so, and I just absolutely love this razor. I'm not going to get into the soap cost and uh, notes and all that because this you can't buy anymore, this particular version. You can still get Razor Rock Triple X um, soap. It's about usually around $9.99 at Italian Barber, but this version you can't get anymore, so I won't give you the details on it today. I have about 24 hours growth today, or maybe slightly under. And we're gonna start today with the old Razor Rock Lime pre-shave. Just use it a little bit. We've been using the DAA Cube um, recently lately, but we've also had this uh, Razor Rock Lime Cube for quite a long time, and we'll just apply a little of that to the face today and use it, since I'm using pretty much all Razor Rock uh, products today. I really like the value that Razor Rock brings, uh, especially when it comes to hardware. Their stainless steel hardware, as I often mention, is really hard to beat. I'm not saying you'll like every single stainless razor they produce, but I have liked most of them. Um, and I think they're a really good value. So we have our triple X lathered up in the Captain's Choice Bowl. We're going to use the Razor Rock 400 brush. And this soap lathers up really nice. And again, despite being quite old, it will still get the job done. It is plenty slick enough. Uh, this soap was made before everybody was uh, worried about uh, bases and crawling about bases non nonstop. It's just a good quality soap that gets the job done. And um, this particular version is my favorite. And I own quite a few different versions of this from Razor Rock. Um, I've bought all pretty much every version they've ever come out with. But this is by far my favorite. Still fragrant. Still lathers well. I mean, you just can't beat it. The blade today that I'll be using is the Astra SP in the Lupo, and this Lupo is is absolutely one of my favorite razors. I just love it. I know some people don't like the DLC coating. That does not bother me at all. I don't really notice any drag when it comes to DLC or matte type finishes um, in razors. Some people do. I do not. I don't need mirror polish on everything. I appreciate it, don't get me wrong, but it is not required for me to get a Great shave. Um, before we get too far into it today, I want to ask for you to send your prayers, thoughts, and good vibes for our brother Justin, who goes by the name of Carry On Steady. Carry On Steady now on Instagram. Uh, a member of his family named Luke has had some very serious health problems. The family ha has not been able to see him a lot due to the Rona, and uh, we just want you to, if you are so inclined, to offer good vibes, thoughts, and prayers for Luke. Luke, I will certainly be saying my prayers for you as well as Justin and the rest of your family. I think it's more than ever, it's important that we try to be a blessing to everyone. And when someone asks me for prayers, thoughts, good vibes, I'm certainly gonna deliver it. And I, I ask you all to keep Justin and Luke and his family in, in your thoughts and prayers. All right, moving on. This, this, uh. The Lupo is just a really nice, smooth shaver. It's not crazy aggressive. For me, it probably hits close to the mid-level 
as far as aggression, you get some blade feel, but not a ton. Uh, you hear a lot of talk about blade feel now, and I do prefer blade feel, but it is not required um, for me to get an excellent shave. I can use razors with almost no blade feel and get an excellent shave. They're not my preference, but I just want to remind you that uh, when you hear a lot of terms about aggression, preference, or excuse me, aggression, blade feel, and a lot of terms that are thrown around, don't just assume that you must have a lot or you don't want a lot. Try it for yourself and figure it out for yourself. That's really what it's all about. Figuring out what works best for you. And I promise you, if you're a good enough shaver, you can shave well with or without blade feel. You can, um, now that said, not every razor is for every person. I, I, I wanna caveat that, but you don't necessarily have to have tremendous amount of aggression and tremendous amount of blade feel and so on and so forth. Um, it does help because I think it gives you feedback, you know, but it's not required. I, I remember early on when I first started, I didn't like vintage razors at all. I didn't think they uh, did a good job. What, do I have some fuzz up there? I didn't know. I had some water or something on my head, but anyway, I didn't think they did a great job because they typically, especially the adjustables or twist to opens, Gillette's, don't have a lot of blade feel. And so I wasn't getting that feedback. And so I would always say, I don't like vintage razors, they stink. And what I learned was, maybe a year or two into it, once I learned how to shave, that I could get excellent shave with vintage razors. Um, and it was just a matter of preference. You know, I was still able to, to use those twist to open adjustable super speeds, you know, fat boys and so on, um, and get magnificent shaves despite them not having a ton of blade feel. So please um, keep in mind that a lot of the way you shave depends on how you develop your skill. And it's not rocket science. It's just a matter of learning the razors that you're using. And ultimately, a lot of these razors were made to work for a wide, wide variety of people. And so in truth, most razors will probably work for most people. You may prefer some to others, as I prefer the Lupo here. But make no mistake about it, blade feel is something you've been hearing more about in recent uh, years, or past year or recent years. But it's not something that is absolutely essential to de deliver a smooth shave. So um, the thing we have, I always like when we get a lot of new people in the hobby, and they bring different perspectives, um, but also sometimes they'll sort of add, um, they'll add a perspective, a new perspective to the mix that um, is not a, a learned necessarily opinion or not a time-tested opinion. I'm not saying that is without value because it's certainly not because, hey, when I first started, I had to learn a lot too. The reason I'm mentioning this, like I said in my last example, I poo-pooed vintage razor simply because I had not done enough shaving to really know how to use effectively those razors. And so please keep in mind that over time, your abilities will change, your face will adjust, and that happens over time. It's not overnight. So if you just started the other day, or if you just started this year, you're gonna find that your preference is gonna change over time, your preference in brushes, my preference still changes from time to time. But the one thing that I have learned for certain in the years I've been doing this is that with good enough skill and knowledge of what your face will tolerate, you can use most things. Most people can use most things. That is not an absolute 100% thing, but by and large, most people will be able to use most things and you can use them effectively if you learn how to use them the question will always be is whether you're willing to take the time to get to learn the things there are some things you will pick up however you just will not like preference wise and that is okay but i think it's important to to sort of distinguish between preference and real effectiveness because those preference and effectiveness are not the same and while i prefer more blade feel i can pull out my Gillette Super Speed, a mild one tomorrow and get a magnificent shave. And so 
I don't want folks to be ran off or just totally dismiss maybe a razor without a lot of blade feel because they see YouTubers, you know, say, oh, it's not enough blade feel or this or that. My recommendation is to take in these videos, listen, um, definitely um, take in the information and consider it. But ultimately you must, you must, must, must try for yourself and figure it out and try not to let other people poo poo things for you um, in terms of if it's something that seems to be working for a wide variety of people and only a few people seem not to like it, it probably works for most people. So just, just keep that in mind and it doesn't matter who it is. Always, I always say make your own decisions. So the Lupo is doing a fantastic job. I will link these things um, below. This DLC version is not in stock right now. I think some stainless versions will be coming up at some point in the near future. The aluminum version is available right now. I'll link it below. I, I think um, I had the aluminum razor before I got the DLC and I enjoyed it. Um, but once I got the stainless version, I, I knew I probably wouldn't use the uh, aluminum version a lot. Again, preference, the aluminum version shaves just as effectively, but I prefer the weight of this stainless steel. And that's really what it comes down to. The aluminum Lupo, I think, works great. So it's nothing to steer away from unless, unless your preference is just for it. You want heavier razors. And if that is the case, then wait for the stainless. And of course, you would assume the stainless razor will last longer. But that said, um, if you take care of an aluminum razor, it'll probably last a lifetime, you know. So I think all of these are probably going to last your lifetime. And maybe, maybe your kid's lifetime, you know, even aluminum. And definitely these stainless, if taken care of, will last many generations. I don't think there's any question about it. And keep in mind, we still see the old vintage Gillettes. Out there, still chugging along. I have razors, safety razors, older than 100 years old that I use from time to time. You'll see on the channel. So it's all about taking care of the equipment when it comes down to it. Very nice. Man, this is super enjoyable. And this old soap is hitting the mark just as well as any, <laughs> any soap that I bought this year with the latest and greatest formula. Plenty of slickness. The scent is still popping. And again, it's because I've taken care of it, you know? That's really what it's all about. You take care of your soaps, take care of your gear. They will take care of you. And then ultimately it's up to you to execute. And we don't always execute flawlessly all the time. Don't, don't care how long you've been doing it. No one is flawless, but we try. Very nice. I'll tell you what, this Lupo, this stainless Lupo, one of my favorite razors, and I, uh, I'm i really anxious for Razor Rock to, to release the regular stainless Lupos to see how they're received by people because I absolutely love this one. All right, that was an excellent shave. Let me rinse, and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back with the Magic Made by Witches, and this is just Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber without alcohol in a spray bottle. Again, I will link the products below this was a really enjoyable enjoyable shave with the lupo with the razor rock triple x i'm telling you what this stuff eight to ten years old still gets it done and it gets it done for me just as well as any soap that was modern the highest end the, <laughs> you know um the reformulated brand new stuff this stuff just in terms of executing shave it worked phenomenally we use the Lupo, which I talked a lot about during the shave. I really enjoy it. Nice, um, far end of mild to entry level of medium, I would call it, with an Astra Blade. And we will finish off the shave today after I tell you about the, again, Captain's Choice Bowl, Razor Rock 400 brush. We'll finish off today with the, I'm actually not going to use this one, but I will show it because I'm almost... It's getting in the danger zone, and so I'm not going to use this one today. This is the fine triple X version that was the first, um, the first version of the aftershave that was released by Razor Rock. Also have this one, which is an older one as well, but I'm going to use the most recent 
which is this one. I'll use the newer stuff first and let this old stuff hang around a little longer. And this is gonna be really nice. Nice Italian citrusy sort of scent to this. And we will be off to the races today. And I hope you have a great day wherever you are. I hope you had a good shave. As always, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.